So welcome all. We would begin with the history session today. Now most of the MCQs that are here for history interest interestingly belong to current affairs. So lot of questions which were related to current affairs but are historically important have been brought into account. Now let's begin with the very first question. The very first question is about Assam. Now Assam's Jiram Kothar and Dekla Juli town with which of the following statements regarding Regarding these are incorrect. So here you have to identify the incorrect statements. What is very very important here is understand the question very very carefully. These two towns were recently in news. Uh, they are two of the significant places in Assam and they were recently visited by the Prime Minister and therefore becomes important. But historically we are picking up the topics from current affairs. So uh, important to note this is a topic on history but contemporary topics which have relate which are related to history have become important so looking for the correct answers now all of those with the correct answers please mention the question number along with the correct answers those with the correct answers would receive a special gift from exam race so start uh, looking forward for your answers now Dekai Joli town is associated with Quit India movement. Uh, the next statement talks about the Jiram Pothar which is an uh, open field in Shivasagar town in Assam. Now this is one of the traditional places of the Ahom tribe and the princess Joy Moti. So again very very important. Then uh, this is the region which is associated with one of the major historical uh, sites for freedom movement in India. The next is the region of Dekla Joli. Uh, Dekla Joli was uh, one of the regions where the youngest martyr from India's freedom struggle was seen and that was 12 years Tileshwari. She was one of the youngest martyrs, uh, ma uh, martyrs and uh, belonged to Dekai Jolly. So uh, third year is the incorrect statement. One and two are the correct statement. Fourth again is the correct statement. But third is the incorrect statement. She did not belong to Jairam Pothar but to uh, the region of Dekai Jolly. So again we have uh, the questions here. Great Sona, good to know that. Okay, um, Varshita has a question about class 9 science. Definitely Varshita, a lot of videos are already up and many topics are now coming as small topics on the channel. So if you are subscribed, you would uh, keep on having access to those topics. For example, we had recently lots of uh, topics related to chemistry, metals, non-metals and so on. Okay, so here 3 only is the incorrect option. Let's move to the next question. The next question is with respect to the Ravan's uh, aviation route and which of the following is statements here are correct now you have to identify only the correct statements here now this is part of one of the projects released by the civil aviation authority of sri lanka and one of the research projects which has led to uh, the findings here so looking for the correct answers for these questions uh, Varshita definitely uh, we have our sessions which are uh, as videos uploaded on the channel for 9 science uh, we do not plan for live sessions as of now but closer to your Olympiads we would have definitely live question answer sessions for science and maths as well okay uh, so looking for question 2 the correct answers Okay, uh, so here Tamil Nadu's Dravidian party acknowledged Ravana, Ravan as the brave king. The research project would be led by the authority titled King Ravan and the ancient domination of the aerial routes now lost. Sri Lanka has named its first satellite Ravan 1 that was launched in 2019 and Theravada Buddhism is one of the dominant religions of Buddhism in Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Thailand and Laos. So here uh, D. Sona has the right answer again. Great Sona. Robin Das again has the right answer. Okay, so we have D as the 
करेक्ट ऑप्शन शिवम वी हैव लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री टॉपिक्स ऑलरेडी इन क्यू सो इफ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ द चैनल यू वुड रिसीव द न्यू टॉपिक्स दैट आर कमिंग सून मेनली द टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू मिडिवल हिस्ट्री आर आप एंड डेफिनेटली ट्वेल्थ हिस्ट्री इज ऑल्सो इन डेवलपमेंट एंड इज इन शेड्यूल सो वुड बी देयर इन नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर मंथ्स ओके द नेक्स्ट इज खुदाई खिदमतकार मूवमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग दीज आर इन करेक्ट सो हियर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स बट द इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स अगेन ना खुदाई खिदमतकार इज वन ऑफ द नॉन वॉयलेंट मूवमेंट्स दैट टर्न पॉलिटिकल ओवर टाइम एंड दिस मूवमेंट फॉर्मली ज्वाइन द आई एन सी और द इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस हाउ एवर खुदाई खिदमतकार वॉज द द वन दैट अपोज द पार्टीशन एंड पीपल ऑफ दिस पार्टी ऑफ दिस मूवमेंट बेसिकली कम इन ब्राइट रेड शर्ट सो थ्री एंड फोर आर द इन करेक्ट आंसर्स वन एंड टू आर द करेक्ट आंसर्स अगेन अ लॉट ऑफ करेक्ट आंसर्स कमिंग इन ग्रेट गोइंग लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द मोफला अप्राइजिंग नाउ मोफला अप्राइजिंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग दीज सो वी हैव फोर स्टेटमेंट्स हियर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द सरप्राइज क्वेश्चन सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट the correct answers for this question number 4 please mention the question number along with the right answer now uh, there has been recently a three member committee which has been constituted by icjr indian council for historical research and with the entries of the book dictionary of martyrs and there we have talked about the vegan tragedy and uh, the issues related to the mufla uprising so uh, very very important now uh, with Which of the following here has been the correct statements? Uh, you have Robin Das with the correct answer. Rohit again. Ayush, a, a lot of you with the right answers. Great. So question four, uh, we already have a lot of right answers. Uh, coming on to uh, the statements here, as per the review report of 2016, it was noted that almost all the Mufla uprising were communal. So that's correct. It was against the Hindu societies, and uh, year twenty one marked the hundredth anniversary of the Malabar Rebellion. However, the Mufla Rebellion is related not to the North but to the South India as one of the first cases of nationalist uh, uprising. So one, two, and three are the correct statements. So three is the Uh, C is the correct answer. Okay, great. So those with the correct answers, please send in your complete postal address to admin at examrains dot com. The next is regarding Indus Valley and question related to Indus Valley and the diets uh, of the people. Now this is important because this was recently published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. How the people of Indus Valley civilizations uh, consumed and what they were actually consuming. So uh, we have the four options here. You have to identify again only the incorrect options, not the correct options. So, looking forward for uh, the correct answers for question number five. Now, the people of Indus Valley civilization consumed what? Uh, so, there is two options: meat and beef. That is given. Now, dominance of the animal products, which was mainly the pig's meat, cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, and the dairy products from the same. The females were used for dairy production, and the males were used. The male animals were used for traction. Uh, and the year in which the Indus Valley civilization disappeared. So great, a lot of answers correct again. Uh, now here, Indus Valley civilization disappeared around one one thousand and nine hundred uh, BC. The rest, all the statements here are correct according to Indus Valley civilization. So we have D only as the incorrect option. The rest of the all statements are correct. So only the fourth option is incorrect here. I hope that's clear. Let's move to the next question. The next question talks about the statements regarding the Pagri Samal movement. So Pagri Samal movement, which of the following statements are correct? 
now we have four of the statements you have to identify the correct statements for uh, the pagdi samal movement now this was celebrated on 23 uh, february by the sanyukt kisan morcha and in the honor of ajit singh now ajit singh has been important the uncle of bhagat singh who was the basic person behind this movement who founded the pagdi samal movement in 1907 and he was born in 1881 however he opened he criticized the colonial policies of the government so a very very important he uh, a concept that he tried to build in a network of solidarity and strengthen the indian revolutionary movement he was also one of the persons who was in line with lala lajpat rai so a uh, very very important the pagdi samal movement and sardar ajit singh's role very very important specifically for this time and under uh, him uh, there were various uh, agitations during the british time which were uh, developed so one was the punjab land alienation act the next was punjab land colonization act and the uh, duap pari act so all of those were very very important so here 1 2 and 3 are the correct options fourth is incorrect uh, the idea is sardar ajit singh rejected or criticized the colonial support uh, the colonial government he did not supported the colonial government the next question which is related here is which of the following are incorrect regarding the renati chola now renati chola is one of the inscriptions and which of the following statements are incorrect regarding those now a rare inscription has been dated uh, back to the renati chola and that has been found in the regions of andhra pradesh Uh, the inscription has been engraved in a dolomite slab and shale what is dolomite made up of so that's in the next statement and during the 8 to 12th century ad north and central tamil nadu was occupied by chola dynasty so which of the following statements are not correct based on this information uh, again this is one of the regions of kaveri delta so chola mandalam as it is called as is important and the region of kadapa district of andhra pradesh is one of the major regions where you have the renati chola dynasty uh, that was witnessed so here we are looking for the incorrect answers now based on this the only incorrect answer here is what is dolomite so dolomite is not a igneous rock it is a sedimentary rock so it is a sedimentary uh, calcium carbonate rock and therefore we say 1 2 and 4 are the correct state statements however 3 is incorrect so only 3 would be the incorrect option which is uh, given in the question so c is the incorrect answer again a very very important question this is one of the risk, uh, inscriptions which has been uh, which is found recently and therefore in news very very important now two again important satyagraha one is the gurubayur satyagraha the other is the vaikom satyagraha which of the following are correct regarding these two satyagrahas now we have to identify only the correct statements now not the incorrect statements so uh, looking forward for the answer so vaikom satyagraha is one of the mass movements which was mainly targeted for the depressed class and it was mannathu padmanaban who took part in both the satyagrahas so again very very important and the idea was to allow the entry of the depressed class however the vaikom satyagraha started in the regions of uh, vaikom the movement in travancore the present day region of uh, kerala guruvayur was a non violent satyagraha so this was a kind of silent satyagraha allowing entries for untouchables in the guruvayur and guruvayur was one of the places near the region of punani taluk in malabar district so fourth is incorrect a lot of uh, correct answers here okay the fourth is incorrect the second again is incorrect one and three are the correct options so vaikom satyagraha is uh, the region uh, the the satyagraha took place near the shiv temple at vaikom so first and three are the correct statements two and four are the incorrect statements i repeat again i hope that makes it clear 
let's move to the next question the next question is about the mahatma ayankali now about mahatma ayankali which of the following statements are correct now this is again a surprise question looking for the first correct answer now why this was in news so recently 157th birth anniversary was celebrated for mahatma ayankali and uh, he was one of the major leaders uh, i won't say further because you would get the answer then uh, so the idea here is which of the following statements is correct looking forward for the correct answers for question number 9 Question number nine. Uh, still looking for the correct answer. So right. Sona has the correct answer here. Great Sona. Now uh, here he was a social reformer born in Kerala, mainly a leader of the lower class and the Dalits. So he formed the Sadhu Jan Paripalna Sanghanam, uh, Sangam, and that was not for the upper caste but for the lower caste. So third is. incorrect so first and second are correct here and dalit children can join his school at the very first time because of his efforts in kerala so 1 2 and 4 are the correct statement shiva varma uh, then we have nazib robindas a lot of new names today and lot of correct answers great so uh, send in your complete postal address to admin@examrays.com and coming on to the last question for today and that is about Shri Narayan Guru. Which of the following statements about Shri Narayan Guru are incorrect? Now, uh, one of the major slogans that he gave was "One Caste, One Religion, and One Language." Uh, he also focused on caste injustice. and he belonged to a izawa caste so he was strictly against the caste injustice and one of the major proponents of advaita vedanta now advaita vedanta a classic concept which we have covered separately is important and nazib has the right answer great nazib so he was not born in andhra pradesh he was born in kerala and he was a social reformer who was strictly against the caste practices strengthening the caste and he himself belong to a izawa caste from the region close to tiruvananthapuram in kerala so first is incorrect 2 3 and 4 are the correct options for this question so these were the topics for discussion today history with respect to the contemporary happenings in the recent world that we have discussed we would be coming up with many more important topics and contemporary topics for your upsc prelims this time. so stay subscribed and uh, enable the notifications to get the notifications for uh, the latest updates that we would be bringing in for your exams before your prelims uh, we would be meeting every tuesdays and saturdays at 6 pm so very good luck for your uh, preparation see you on saturday back at 6 pm till then stay safe have a healthy day